hello, 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 Libra. Welcome to Gemini Soul Terror. This is your September reading, guys. Um, if you are returning subscribers, thank you very much. Guys, this may not resonate with all you Libras. Y'all know that's perfectly fine with me, right? Keep what you need and throw the rest out in the universe. It does not apply to you at all. That's fine. This is for a collective, so it cannot resonate with you all. All right? But if it does, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe. This is the new way that I'm doing my readings right now. Definitely comment below. Let me know if you like this new way of me doing the readings. I'll be releasing. This is your... September readings for the month of September, but I will be coming out with your mid-month. So make sure you hit that notification button so you don't miss your mid-month. But let's see what's going on with Libra right now. Libra, let's just take a sneak peek. What was you dealing with in August, in the past? What was Libra dealing with? Justice. Okay, Libra, I'm feeling like justice. Like, what do you mean? Something happened, something you wanted clarity on, some truth on. Maybe some happened that made you really get your strength and build yourself back up and you got the justice that you needed or maybe the justice in the situation was for you just to see things clearly and work on yourself could have been dealing with a leo or an aries for sure let's see did you get the justice that you okay so libra i'm feeling like um you got the um temperance card could have been dealing with a sagittarius um, but you got the Temperance card. So the Temperance card is patient and waiting. So maybe in the month of August, you was waiting for something or you was waiting on clarity to come in in regards to something or a situation. And the universe was just asking you to be patient in the past, right? Maybe he was trying to heal and um, get over a situation or a marriage. Definitely could have been a marriage and you needed the strength to just be strong and get back on your feet and move forward. And realize that this was not the situation for you. It wasn't the end of the world, right? So you just could have been working on standing in your power or something you truly felt was not just. You worked on it last month to get just, right? So maybe somebody did something and you just like, at the end of the day, I have to look at this situation for what it really is. We have the page of cups here. Somebody could definitely be coming in, apologize to you in the month of September, Libra, and that could have just been that jest, something that you feel was not just, maybe the way somebody treated you, the way they showed up for a connection, some falling out you may have had. And also, let's see, why is this, what is they apologizing, Libra? What's the, what are they probably, mm, you got the Ten of Cups here. Now, when I see that, maybe, this is two ways I'm seeing this, Libra. Take it where it resonates. Um, somebody come in and apologize to you because y'all might have went out somewhere and this person got drunk or out of their body and disrespected you. And, and now they're coming in and apologize to you uh, about their toxic ways, about what it is they say said to you or how they showed up in the connection. Even if that you guys went out, I feel somebody could have been drinking too much drugs or something and they came in and they was very disrespectful or what they said to you, it wasn't true. They was just angry at the time. That doesn't excuse their behavior, right, Libra? Because you should have boundaries about what it is you accept and you do not accept and people need to have control of their functions, okay? Anyway, um, this person could be coming in and apologize to you. The other thing is someone, you know, uh, could be coming in just a relationship coming in for the month of September for you Libra where well, this person would like to uh, Make an offer or communicate to you that they feel that you are they wish fulfillment and they want to start something With you or they want to apologize for whatever you guys even if it wasn't that much that it, you guys had a big old fight and falling out maybe somebody just walked away from the connection or you guys has been separated for some time but this person wants to come in and apologize for that distance or separation misunderstanding or someone just coming in that truly just sees you or yeah and then you got the knight of cups under the bottom yeah this is a this is someone apologizing yeah they want to move on to calmer waters with you yeah oh yeah okay so all right here we go here we go Lee. so this person definitely first of all they want to come in and apologize they see you as they wish fulfillment okay um and they want to offer you this cup of love. So it's an apology with a cup of love, right? So 
the reason they doing that is because they really want to come out of choppy waters with you and they really want to move on with you. But Libra, the other thing that I'm getting is like you got your back turned towards this situation and you may just be telling somebody in the month of September because this is how I see this situation like this, right? Is it, let me, let me, see the camera going to show it differently from how I'm laying it down. But let me show you, Libra. So, this is them. Want to come in, apologize, saying, you know, they sorry for their actions or they see you as a wish fulfillment. And then I see you going this away, Libra. Like, um, you know, I'm going to take my cup of love and I'm going to move on to calmer waters. This, it, it, like, you got your back to this situation. Like, you may not be accepting this apology. Maybe this person has done it several times and you've had discussions about it, right? Then maybe it triggers you when they drink or something and you guys just don't agree and you've talked about it so many times and now you're just taking your love and you want to move on to calmer waters because you got the chariot here. And so this chariot, hold on one minute, guys. This uh, cherry is definitely you moving on and deciding that, you know, this is not it for me. This is not where I want to be. And I want to move on to common waters. I want something better that I can trust, right? I don't need you coming out of bag on me whenever you feel like it because you don't have control of your functions. And then you got the two of wands under the bottom. So Libra, I see you choosing to go in this direction, choosing to leave that one behind, that person, that situation, that job, whatever that makes you unhappy and unstable or whatever you feel that is not your wish fulfillment. You are now realizing there is so much more out in the world and you're choosing to go on this new path, right? And that's the two of one. So you're choosing this one in front and you're leaving someone behind because you see there's a whole new world and you want to do a new adventure out there, right? And that new adventure is not, you know, is either. Now, I'm, I, I am so also getting if you accept this apology, you will be telling them that you want this relationship to show up differently, that you will not be accepting the old toxic ways, that if they truly do see you as what it is that they want, they're going to have to show up for the connection or you will not be there at all. You will be in your chariot head no. You may be communicating with them to move forward with me, right? Could definitely be why the chariot move forward with me and get in common waters. You need to get your emotions under control, your behavior under control. I see that. I see that. And the reason you're going to tell them that because, you know, you got the wheel of fortune here, uh, Libra. You definitely want things to move in your favor. You know, with the wheel of fortune, you want to start building. You don't want to be wasting time with the little stuff that doesn't seem to be balancing you out and keep pulling you backwards where this wheel does not turn in your favor all right you definitely could be dealing with somebody from the past all right because you got the six of cups here so this person that you've been dealing with that you're conversating with you're pretty much talking to them and telling them like whatever behaviors you've done in the past is no longer or you're telling them like if you want to be with me you got to do better like, if you don't want, want me, that's fine. My will will turn anyway, right? I'm going to have to go in another direction. It may not feel good, right? I may be hurt about the situation, but I can't continue to let what the behavior that you've been doing in the past continue to keep me from moving forward. Like, you like, I'm not going to be able to do it, okay? So, let's see, Libra. What else we got? Clarify what we want to clarify. So we got the temperance card. Let's see what it is that the spirit wants you to wait on and do here, Libra. What is it that the spirit wants you to be patient about? Okay, you got a king of wands here. So this king of wands definitely could be the person, could be a person that you're dealing with, Libra. Uh, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo in the month of September, and it's coming under temperance patience. So this could just be someone that the spirit wants you to be patient with. Um, it definitely could be a new person coming in your way because you could be leaving a water sign behind or a, a Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, you got a lot of water going on here. And you do have a, a, a fire sign here in the Aries. So, and then you got Sagittarius. Um, so it could be any of those people, right? But it doesn't matter because you know gender, and signs, people can have all of these in their chart. You can have it in your chart, okay? So don't worry too much about that part. But what it is, you need to know that somewhere there's, you know, the King of Pentacles stands in their power, right? It could be sometime a little noncommittal too because they're so 
empowered in what they have and what they've grown and how they look. And they care a lot about the outside appearance of how things should look when it comes to their empire or how they do things or move things, right? So um, I'm feeling that the vine is telling you just be patient in this situation, whether this person is coming towards you or maybe just be patient if there's a conversation that needs to ha be had with Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, that in time you'll get the clarity and understanding that you need in that situation. And I don't know why I'm just hearing that, Libra, but it's, you may have a situation on your mind or thoughts or cares or something that has to do with that. Um, it also can be to Libra that you need to just stand in your power, know what it is that you want in a connection, know what direction you want to go in and don't let nothing deter you from that. Be the strong, powerful, fiery, uh, king or queen that you are. Right. And, uh, in time, you know, yeah, I just think pa patiently you're growing, you're moving towards the right thing. The right thing is going to happen for you. And you're going to be just fine. You know, just stand in your power. Know what it is. Don't let anybody deter you away from any decisions that you want to make that completes you. If this person comes in, you make that decision, you know, basically on how you feel. If you truly feel that this connection will last or work out and all that, you know, I'm just feeling that maybe outside influences saying, you know, give this person a chance. Maybe some people liked them. Maybe some people didn't like them. But I think this is a, a decision by saying temperance, patience here that you're going to have to make for yourself. No one can make this decision for you. Not even the person that you may be talking with or trying to make this decision about. Because at the end of the day, where you go in this chariot and how you get to calmer waters in this relationship, Air, um, Libra could be dealing with an Aries. I keep wanting to say Aries. Um, and how you get there and when you get there, Libra is all on you. That's how you show up and, and how you get there is all on you. Accepting this apology or just taking your own fulfillment, a cup of love and strength and, and, and justice. That could be justice that you just move on to calmer waters and get a new relationship or maybe just spending time with yourself right now in source about what it is that you know you want to do. Uh, let's just see this page of cups. What's with this page of cups here? That's a whole lot. Okay. Let me see. I'm, I'm going to run this real quick and then this. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So. Okay. Okay. And this is not going to be for all y'all. Just listen. Okay. Just listen. Just listen. Libra, for the month of September, you could be finding out a secret about your stability. Um, I'm feeling like there was some information that comes to light. And, you, you know, it's like you're the high priestess. And when this information comes to light, you're going to walk away from this situation, which you... S yeah, this is a Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This situation that you thought was abundant and sharing and whatever, you, you could be walking away from someone because you find out they were married. You could be walking away from someone because you find out they're in a committal relationship. You could find out they're not as stable as you thought they were, right? They don't have anything to bring in connection. Definitely be very mindful about your money in September, Libra. Um, but I feel there's a secret going to come out and you're going to walk away and you're going to walk away with ease. And the reason why you're going to walk away because and when y'all heard me say this when I seen this come out, like, yee, the universe got something better for you, Libra. But you got to make sure you're doing the work, right? Don't, I just told you, don't let other people make these decisions for you because the universe has a decision for you. But... In order for you to get this, in order for you to get this, you you got to be ready for it and you got to make the right move for it. But you got the Ace of Pentacles here, okay? So the universe has something for you so much better, so much bigger. And you may even feel that there's a connection or something that you feel you even lose some money in because the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. And the universe is telling you don't even worry about that because they got it, right? So that 10 may be 
in reverse that ten of pentacles, you know, but the universe has the eight of pentacles right there. So that trumps that ten of pentacles. Now, a lot of times that just means it could be a long-term relationship or a marriage that will be dissolving itself at, in, in the month of September. Uh, something that had built a, a foundation on, but a secret comes out, whether this person was having an affair whether this person walks away from you or whatever it is, maybe it was this person had this behavior that you just refuse to accept anymore, okay? So my battery's getting low, guys, so let me get, I know y'all like, well, don't be rushing my read, okay? Let me get a love card for you. Hopefully I can get through. I'm gonna have to piece y'all reading together, Libra. I'm doing the best I can. Uh, be thinking right now, Libra, of a question that you have that you would like answer because I'm gonna use the angel answer cards. For one card for a question. So be thinking about that now. But Spirit Guys, what do you have for Libra for the month of September in love? Can you give me one romance angel for Libra? Alright, that was good. Uh, deception and attraction. Okay, so Libra, I am truly feeling what I've been talking about. There's a deception. Somebody's wearing a false man. That may be why that Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You're walking away when this secret comes out. It could be a marriage, a relationship, third party, holding money, stealing money, transferring money, um, not having enough to keep it stable, a gambling par problem, alcohol problem, something that just, just keeps this from being stable. Or somebody could, you found out they was on drugs. Maybe it's just something going to come out, a secret going to come out, but it's going to make you so stable, make you not, well, the universe has something for you once this is over. When you get down, you ain't going to stop, though, because you're moving on to common waters. You're going to accept that situation for exactly what it is, and you're going to move forward in the month of September. Whatever it is, you kind of had an intuition with the high priestess here that it was going to happen anyway. Or there was something that you was not aware of that was showing up in this connection in the first place. So it's not really that much of a secret. You just didn't know specifically what it was. Comment below and let me know if you're dealing with this. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and let me know how you guys like this reading. So that false mask coming out because you get you get um, that information in regards to that. With attraction on the bottom, definitely they could have had an affair or been attracted to someone else. And they just wasn't showing you. Or, uh, I'm sorry, but I'm getting this. Somebody like the same sex. And you could have been married or in a long-term relationship and you just found it out. It's not for all you Libras, but I'm just feeling that. Or some attraction. This, per this person just could not keep themselves committed to one person. Even if they was married, they had to spread themselves around. I'm just saying, that's what I'm getting. Okay, here we go, Libra. I'm trying to hurry up before my... Uh, okay. <laughs> so, whatever question you had, Libra, here's your answer. Are you ready? Huh? You ready, Libra? Unlikely. Whatever your question was, it is unlikely. So, whatever you're asking in the universe, it's unlikely. That is true. Unlikely that is false. Uh, unlikely, whatever. Unlikely you'll get back together with them. Unlikely you will leave them and accept the truth. Whatever. You know what question you was asking. Matter of fact, I'm going to stop elaborating when I get these one cards. Because that's the, the you asked the question. So I can't elaborate on a question that you asked. Because the universe gives you the answer here. And I'm not going to elaborate on it. But, I mean, I feel some stuff. But I don't think I should be elaborating on it. So, Libra, that is your September reading. Don't forget to put the notification button on so when I do your mid-month reading, you come back and see where you're at in this situation. Guys, definitely don't forget to give me a thumbs up on the way out. I would appreciate it, Libra, and I will see you in your mid-month. Love and light, Libra.